Black Monarch. Monarch. I'm Lincoln Roach. And I'm Sophia Miranda. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to wake, wake up for KYOT. <laughs> upcoming week is going to be very exciting because theater is putting on their first production of the year. It's going to be a drive-in style performance. Here's Sophia Miranda with the story. Theater has been at Monarch since 1998 and over the past 20 years there has always been a fall show. But due to COVID many changes have been implemented into this year's show. I think it'll open up a lot of opportunities for us to get creative and hopefully we can put on something really great and you know keep theater alive. The show must go on, so many different activities will be done in the department this year. We would like to have our drive-in movie theater type of atmosphere with our fall play, The Ten Ways to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse. And then I'd like to do a radio show. And then, um, we don't know, from there we're not sure. Uh, we might do a cabaret type of thing for the musical this year. Um, and then some sort of what I would like to do is bookend the, the year with the other play called Ten Ways to Survive the Pandemic. Even with limited activities that can be done, freshmen are being prepared for the rest of this year's theater. I'm honestly, just excited to see what show, what kind of shows are gonna, um, are gonna be, or we are we are going to be doing. It's gonna be fun, a fun type of thing, definitely for the situation that we're, that we're in. You know, we can do a lot of fun things. And during this unpredictable time, the theater department asks for as much support as possible. So I ask the the monarch community come out and support us you know we're going to try to support you know all the other aspects in in monarch we need our support as well because we've got to keep the arts alive it's such an integral part of so many students lives and we don't want to see that go away for kyot this is sophia miranda sophia that was simply outstanding 10 ways to survive a zombie apocalypse will be showing october 27th through 30th at 6 p.m at the school parking lot mm, brains Speaking of brains, it takes a lot to get into college. Let's go check in on our senior coyotes and see how they're going to get into college this year. Because of COVID-19, some colleges aren't looking at test scores. Instead, students should focus on academics and activities for their applications. Monarch counselor Autumn Copians believes colleges want to know who you are rather than your SAT scores. So they're really looking at you as a student as a whole. What are the things that you've gotten involved in, GPA? Counselors often advise their students to focus on activities to make themselves stand out among the many others applying. It's really how you are different than the person that they're beating after you. On the academic side of applications, Anthony Fontana from CU Denver says colleges want to know that you continue to push yourself even through the pandemic. We're going to look not just at your final GPA, but like what classes did you take? Are your grades going up? So maybe you had a, a rough freshman year, but your sophomore year got better, junior year got better. You're taking challenging classes your senior year. I think that's what a lot of schools are really looking forward. With colleges looking more at academics and activities rather than the SAT and ACT scores, they turn to essays to get to know an applicant. I think that for schools that are doing a more holistic review, your essay um, is gonna be more important than it's ever been. Because of COVID-19, test scores aren't as important to some colleges who are instead focusing on the student as a whole. For KYOT, I'm Caitlin Smith. Did you know Miss Ellis is a singer? Miss Ellis, the science teacher? Yeah, she's pretty versatile. Oh yeah, she has a performance this week. But enough talking, let's go to Jackson. When science teacher Katherine Ellis was looking for a way to grow her teaching a couple years back, she ended up finding a secret passion of hers singing jazz. So I started singing two and two, a little more than two years ago. Um, one of my favorite jazz vocalists, Heidi Schmidt, was performing and during the break we were chatting and I asked her if she could help me strengthen my teaching voice and I realized I was straining my voice to be heard in the back of the room and I thought if I learned some vocal technique that that would help me project my voice better and she agreed to work with me on that. And that way to strengthen her teaching voice was learning how to sing. So then about six weeks after that, she and I had been working on some stuff and she was at a gig at the St. Julian Hotel and asked me if I wanted to sit in and sing. 
in front of an audience with a microphone. And I said, yeah, I think I'm actually ready to try that because I'm fearless. Miss Ellis then spent two full years learning how to practice her singing. And now she plays in an adult jazz group performing on her driveway every Monday night. I'm doing my first professional show with professional musicians, my show as the lead um, ever in my whole two year singing career, I'm ready to push myself and try to do something really, really scary and uh, run my own show. Jazz has taught Miss Ellis that she can always continue to learn new things and that it is never too late to give up on your passions. For KYOT, this is Jackson DeAndrea. Do you know Miss Ellis, the science teacher, the science teacher? Do you know Miss Ellis? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. That's all for this week, Monarch. Don't forget to tune into Sports Ball's coverage of the second home football game for Monarch tonight at 6. We're excited to see you next week, and remember to stay positive and test negative. Oh.